Hi guys, so this is another video today. So today is pretty much a rent video. When I get patients who come in and they tell me that, look, I've been having dry eyes, right? My eyes are really dry, it waters a lot. What can I do about it? So I always tell them that the easiest thing that they can do is to just use eye drops. It's as simple as it is. So the most problem that patients have is that they do not know how frequently to use the eye drops or they do not use the eye drops enough. So I do have patients who just use eye drops just once a week or maybe twice a week and I'm like, okay, that's definitely not enough, right? You need to use way more than that, right? Now, the good thing nowadays is that there are a lot of preservative free eye drops and these eye drops basically you can use it up to four times a day and you can use it even more. Preservative free means that there is not anything that's in the drops that would react with your eyes in an adverse way that will make things worse in the future. Is there such a thing as overusing your eye drops? Maybe, but I don't think so because a lot of people actually do not use eye drops as much as they need to. The other thing also with contact lenses, sorry, if you're someone who wears contact lenses a lot, you should really consider using eye drops if they are giving you dryness. Most people wear contact lenses because they are probably a bit more vain or maybe they have a really high prescription and wearing glasses like these ones here is a bit more heavy. So for these people, having contact lens option might be better. Also, if you work in childcare, it's probably a better option for you as it would be quite annoying if the kids were to just grab your glasses and then they would just kind of chuck it away or things of that sort. So I would say that for these people who use contact lenses, definitely use eye drops because it's a very simple way that it can really uh, hydrate your eyes and hence you do not feel that uncomfortable feeling. Um, the other thing about uh, dryness in the eyes is also that yes, it actually can cause your eyes to tear a bit more. Now, in our eyes, there are two main glands. There is what we call the meibomian gland, which is the gland that produces the oily layer in your eye. And there are also the lacrimal gland, which produces the tears, right? So just imagine it this way, all right? If there is water and there's a layer of oil on top, it prevents evaporation and hence your eyes will not feel dry. Now, when the oily layers or the oil glands in your eyes are blocked, it prevents the production of the oil mixing with the watery or the aqueous part and hence the eyes will start to uh, water a lot. And when your eyes water, it is a sign that your eyes are dry. All right. So for people who experience this kind of dryness, there are certain eye drops which particularly help to get that oily layer in check and they can use these eye drops to help them to alleviate their dry eye symptoms. And the drop that I would recommend for most people is called Hylophort. Disclaimer, I'm not endorsed at all or I'm not sponsored at all by this particular company to recommend the eye drops, but I just personally feel that this is one of the best drops as optometrists like myself and also eye doctors or ophthalmologists do recommend these drops also. All right, so I think that's the main thing that I want to talk about today. It's a bit everywhere, but I just thought that I just want to maybe get it out and just uh, advise people that it's okay to use eye drops. If you are really concerned about it damaging your eyes in one way or another, just use those ones which are preservative free. Preservative free drops, you can use them as much as you need to. I recommend four times a day. And if you're working in front of screens and it causes dryness to your eyes with or without contact lenses, use eye drops, all right? So the main thing about today that I wanna tell everyone is it's okay to use eye drops, all right? So I hope you guys get the message. If there's any questions you guys have, please feel free to leave a comment down below. If not, I'll catch you guys in the next video. See ya.